here with Hamilton Heights out of uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, Two-time Lighthouse Challenge Champion, right here. Just won the Lighthouse Challenge Championship. Uh, coach, if you don't care, introduce yourself and your players, okay? Uh, Zach Farrell, uh, head coach at Hamilton Heights. This is uh, Jordan Rawls and Jason Jacobo. All right, Coach, first question is going to come for you here. Uh, I think Sunrise is a two-time winner here. Uh, this makes you guys a two-time winner. Uh, what does it feel for you guys to be able to come in, take the trophy back to Chattanooga? Uh, you know, with, with such a big event like this. Yeah, I mean, it's an honor, first of all, to play in the Lighthouse Classic. It's definitely one of the best events in the country. Um, it's something that our kids really enjoy coming to. It's always high-level competition. And uh, to be able to come in here and get two wins over uh, a couple programs that are one of the best in the country is really good and great. Just uh, starts our season. Coach, they just was at your name. Yeah. I see that you guys got more aggressive in the second half. Like, they got a lot more loose. Like, I think the car play got a lot more different. The record got more comfortable. Uh, so, what do you do different when you got to sit down? What's your mindset? Uh, we want to come out aggressive and not lay back and uh, be the first one to attack. And I'm not going to come at um, Yeah, for us, uh, like, we just wanted to, we were able to, to build a pretty good lead uh, at halftime and just wanted to have. No let ups, continue to play uh, the same, continue to just get better. Uh, we were down the glass uh, at halftime. We wanted to improve on that. We did a little bit. Uh, and just wanted to kind of, you know, put complete games together. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win. Two time winner. Uh, that's a big honor right there to play in the, the competition that you do here. What are some of the coaching points we'll take away, especially in a win? Uh, with like complacency, try not to be complacent the rest of the season, things like that. And you'll take in. Of course, y'all go to a, several events around the country. So, what's the coaching point? Yeah, I mean, I think this is something that we can definitely build on confidence wise, uh, the knowledge that we can come out, we can have really good starts, and we can build the leads. And we've been able to beat uh, two really good teams. And I think just from the confidence of that, guys continually. Coming together, trusting each other, understanding their roles, buying into their roles. This has been a great weekend for that, and I think it'll help carry us into the rest of the year and coming together and being the best team we can be. Uh, Jason, this question comes to you here. Uh, you know, big, strong guy. Uh, the referees, uh, they, they let you guys play this weekend. Uh, next level style of basketball uh, they called it to you know next level style uh, did that go in your favor this weekend here uh, yeah I feel like it did because the coaches have been really aggressive the whole time so I try my best to go out here and let the table get the coach what about you uh, we'll finish up here with you uh, do you think that was in you guys favor this weekend uh, the way that kind of kind of just let us sit back and let it play yeah I mean I, I thought it was a good it allowed us to be able to the, all of our guys to stay on the floor, and uh, it seemed like it was called similar on both sides. And allowing, you know, if there was a disadvantage or something happened where it gave us an advantage, they called it, but other they, they let it roll. And um, I thought it helped us for sure. Thanks, guys. Thank you.